Welcome, today we are looking at this TwoGuard CE80B 4K mirror dash cam. It has a rear dash cam that's 1080p. If you want to pick this up, I will link it in the description box below. Before we start, if you find this video useful, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section and please do subscribe to watch more reviews. I like the packaging. Just letting us know there, 12 inch screen, dual recording, loop recording. Every dash cam nowadays does loop recording. It's touch screen as well. Wide angle, so the front camera is 170 degrees field of view and the rear camera, I think it's 150 or 160. So this is everything that was inside the box. We get a sticker, four rubber straps to mount the mirror on your existing rear view mirror, four cable clamps, a tool to help with cable management. We get a GPS module, a micro USB lead, the other end will plug into your cigarette lighter. some stickies and some screws there for the rear camera if you want to stick the rear camera on or if you want to mount it onto your number plate. Instruction booklet. This is touch screen as I mentioned. And you can also use voice commands as well. Really simple ones. It's letting us know there which voice commands you could use. So you could say turn on screen, turn off screen or on or off audio, show both cameras and stuff. One quick thing to point out, if you are going to use the GPS module, it will give you your speed. If you want to know your location, you will have to go to Two Guards website and download the GX player. And that is only available for Windows operating system at the moment. Then we have the rear camera. You tighten them screws there. That's full 1080p. I think we get around three meters of cable. That red cable there, if you connect that to the positive feed of your rear lamp, it will act as a reversing camera guide, you know, where you get them lines. You could disconnect that to get the cable through and then connect it back again. It's giving us a bit of information there. We need to peel this off. At the bottom, microphone and on off button there. At the back, we have a speaker and these two will hold them rubber things. So you put one there, clips on. Then you fold it around your mirror, and the other one will go there. So it holds it into place securely. There's a bit of flexibility there as well. As you can see, there are different gaps there as well, depending on the size of your mirror. Over there where it says, R, that's for reset. Then we have the lens. The lens does extend. It does have a bit of movement. And as I mentioned before, that's 170 degrees field of view. That records in 4K. So two guard recommend it use a fast card U3. There isn't a card provided. The maximum you can use is a 128 GB micro SD card. You can still use the front dash cam if you do not want to use the rear dash cam. The front dash cam will still work. So if I were to put the USB in there first, and the rear camera will go in there where it says AV micro SD card in there and if you are going to use the GPS module that will go in there we need to do a bit of cable management in the car because I've just placed them to show you where they will go now the next part of the video will get recorded in the car where I will show you features within the screen and then we'll have a look at some daytime and nighttime footage as well So the dash cam is up and running now. As you can see, this is the front view. So the first thing I'll show you on the dash cam. On the left side of the screen, if you swipe your finger up and down, it will show you a different viewing angle. On the right side of the screen, you can adjust the brightness of the screen. 
if you swipe left, you get to see the rear camera, swipe left again, both cameras, left again, the front camera. If you swipe right, let it load up, it will bring up the recording. And you could choose any recording you like and then it will start playing. You have a trash can there as well where you could delete the recording. Press back. At the bottom, these icons, so we have the speaker one there, and then that will take an image. The one next to that, it will start recording. And there's a gear cog. I don't know how well you can see these. If I click the gear cog, this is where your options are now. So you've got resolution. So the front screen is recording in 4K, the rear in 1080p. If I tap that, the front screen will also turn to 1080p. We have loop recording. So you've got one minute, three and five minutes. Then we have audio, whether you want to record audio while you're driving or off, G sensor. We have low, medium and high. Whatever you set it on, say you set it on medium, if an impact on medium, it will lock the file. Then we have parking guard. Now for that, you'll need the hard wire kit. Then we have license, so if you want to put your number plate in, you can. Screen saver, you could turn the screen off after 30 seconds, one minute or three minutes, or you could just push the button and the screen will go off, but it will carry on recording. Then we have video encoder, so H.265, which is high quality, but smaller file sizes, or you could pick the standard H.264. Frequency, mirror image, then we have key voice, that's for the voice commands. Speaker, mute, low, medium or high. Boot sound, stream media, language. You could pick from different languages. It's in English, so that's fine for me. Date and time, I've already set mine. Format SD card. It's very important to format the SD card when you install it. And as I mentioned before, you need a faster SD card that is a rating of three. And if I swipe, you have some more options here. Voice command. It shows you what voice commands you can use. The one I like is lock the video. That is a really good one. So if you see something happening, rather than taking your hands off the wheel and pushing the button to lock it, you could just use your voice and it will lock the file. Show rear camera. Okay. Show both cameras. Okay. Show front camera. Okay. audio you're listening to now it's coming from the dash cam what do you think of the image quality do let me know however one thing to remember the image quality you guys are seeing is slightly reduced as youtube compressed the file as for my overall thoughts i really like this camera two guard have done a great job the large 12 inch display will be useful if your rear view mirror is small the dash cam is easy to use touch screen is responsive i really like the voice commands you don't have to take your hands away from the steering wheel 
Log file is a useful feature. Image quality is really good. I have reviewed many dash cams. This has to be one of the better ones. The only slight criticism I have, it would have been nice if the GPS was built in rather than having to attach the module, meaning having to deal with more cable. Still, for me, that is not a deal breaker. I really like this dash cam. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, a like would be appreciated. Any questions, ask me in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.